former chief executive of Formula One, Bernie Eccleston, has been very vocal about the FIA's recent appointment. Eccleston seems frustrated about what the FIA have done and believes that it could harm the integrity of the sport as a whole. Bernie has voiced his opinion to the FIA and Formula One in the past, but here he seems extremely angry. But why is this? What made Eccleston angry and frustrated over the FIA's most recent appointment? Let's take a look. Before we start, I want to give a big thanks to Bybit, one of the world's leading crypto exchange platforms, for sponsoring this video. They have an amazing competition going on at the moment, with the winner getting a paddock pass to the 2022 Silverstone Grand Prix. To enter, click the referral link in the description below and deposit at least $10 into your new Bybit account before midnight on Wednesday the 29th of June to be in with a chance to win this once-in-a-lifetime experience. Good luck! Bernie Eccleston has issued a warning to people over the FIA's recent employment of a former Mercedes worker, Charlia Ann Rao, who is currently interim head of the FIA. Eccleston is extremely worried about this, saying it's bloody dangerous, as he is worried that the Mercedes worker may change the regulations and make decisions in favour of the Silver Arrows. Eccleston seemed furious, saying, Toto started all this nonsense about the cars needing to change. She told them about the new directive, obviously. Here, it is clear to see that the former CEO of Formula One is suggesting that, due to Wolf and Mercedes complaining in the media, this has led to this former Mercedes employee to change the rules in their favour. This may be somewhat true, as the regulations got changed to help the physical effects on the driver from porpoising by forcing teams to lift the ride height if they have too much bouncing. But in reality, this does not help Mercedes at all. This is because Mercedes have the most extreme bouncing on the grid, and the FIA will make them raise the ride height, compromising performance. So, what Eccleston is implying regarding the new porpoising regulation only hurts Mercedes in the short term and does not help them as he suggests. Eccleston also refers to when Mercedes were allowed an additional support cable on the side of the car, connecting the floor and the chassis to help with the bouncing in Canada. A former employee working for the hierarchy of Formula One is not uncommon, with current F1 CEO Stefano Domenicali, who was a former team principal for Ferrari from 2008 until 2014. So going by Eccleston's theory, should Domenicali be fired as he used to work for a team that could make the decisions which favour Ferrari? However, it is fair to say that the FIA has listened to Mercedes drivers and team bosses complaining about the pain the porpoising causes. So this could be a bad sign, as if and when Mercedes may complain about another issue, the FIA will make a rule to favour them and not other teams. Is it fair to say that this appointment will favour Mercedes? Is Eccleston in the right here? Should the FIA appoint someone neutral who has not worked for a team in the past? That's for you to decide. Getting back into it, Eccleston has had very strong words for the seven-time world champion Lewis Hamilton, saying, Toto is getting a bit fed up with Lewis. I don't think he's trying, do you? Let's put it another way. Lewis doesn't seem bothered about losing. It's not like him. He has a competitive nature. But he's taking losing a bit easy for my liking. Eccleston seems to be implying that maybe Hamilton has lost his passion for the sport following the controversy in Abu Dhabi. Eccleston implied that Toto Wolff is annoyed at Hamilton, as maybe he believes that he's not trying his best anymore and doesn't care that he's not at the top step of the podium every other race. We know that Hamilton has a contract with Mercedes set until the end of 2023, and that there has been no indication from him that he is retiring at the end of the season. There were several rumours at the end of 2021 that he fell out of love with the sport due to the decisions made by Michael Mercy and the FIA, but these, of course, were deemed to be false. However, it is fair to say that Hamilton is annoyed at losing as, after each race this season, he has been seen speaking to the media, saying he will go back to the factory to help the team. Hamilton, on his Instagram stories, has been seen using the simulator at the factory quite a lot. Previously, he has said, I hardly ever drive on the simulator. I maybe do 20 laps a year. I have no interest in the simulator. So it's clear that Hamilton is now trying his best to improve every race. Before, he would never use the simulator, but now he seemed to be using it almost every week. There have been no real signs from team boss Toto Wolff that he has any intention to replace Hamilton soon, saying, No, we are in a happy place with Lewis. 
there is no doubt that we are embarking the season and the next one in a good place, but it's too early to discuss 2024. But having said that, I couldn't wish for a better driver pairing. So it's clear that Toto Wolff and Mercedes have no intention of replacing Hamilton at the end of the season and they fully expect him to drive for the 2023 season. However, despite what Wolff has said, Eccleston believes that there is a high likelihood that he may sell his position to Mercedes, with Eccleston saying, Lewis might sell his position to Toto. This is how much I am getting, I'll step down and give me half of what I would get. Toto can go and do one of his magic deals, offer someone less money and keep 20 mil. Nobody needs to tell Toto this because he has already thought of it. Lewis would probably stop under those circumstances. Eccleston here is pretty much saying that Lewis may say to Toto to buy his contract out if Toto is so annoyed at Lewis for not trying. However, it is very clear that Hamilton is happy with the challenge that he has right now and will most definitely continue next season. But the question is, do you think Hamilton will continue beyond this season? Before we jump into what Bernie Eccleston thinks about Sebastian Vettel, make sure to click the referral link in the description below and deposit at least $10 into your new Bybit account before midnight on Wednesday 29th of June to be in with a chance to win a once in a lifetime experience and be in amongst the paddock at Silverstone this weekend. Eccleston has not just fired shots towards Mercedes and Hamilton, but has also spoken out on four-time world champion Sebastian Vettel concerning his speaking out on real-world issues. The 91-year-old billionaire came out and said, Vettel becomes a politician because he doesn't win. Eccleston understands what Vettel is saying is important, but he should either choose to become a politician or be a Formula 1 driver and not mix them both. We know that in the past couple of years, Vettel has spoken out about climate change and many other issues that he believes are very important. But even though Vettel is trying to make a change for the better, Eccleston said he has less concentration than before. When he first started winning races, he had little idea what was going on in the world and was unable to realise what was going on in the world. These are extremely harsh comments from Eccleston who suggests that Vettel needs to drop being a politician so that he can focus on driving for Aston Martin and putting in even better performances. However, Vettel has been very impressive this season. With him missing the first two races due to Covid, he still has 10 more points than his teammate, Lance Stroll. This is all while being in the second slowest car on the grid. So far, it is fair to say that Vettel is doing the best with the machinery that he currently has at his disposal. However, Eccleston does want Vettel to have a more competitive car. I would like to see him in another car and hope that he can compete with Max Verstappen. That would also be advantageous for him. Here, Eccleston wants Vettel to be in a car that is challenging for race wins every week and for him to reach the heights that he once was at. Vettel was dominant from 2010 until 2013, winning every world championship in that time frame and he physically could not be beaten, breaking multiple records as he did it. Would you like to see Vettel in a more competitive car? Are these comments harsh on Vettel? And should he stop being an activist for change? Or should Eccleston just keep his mouth shut and stop commenting on drivers? That's for you to decide in the comments below. Make sure to click the link in the description and follow all the steps to have a chance to be in the paddock this weekend at Silverstone. Thank you for watching and click the link on your screen to watch more content from Formula Today.